the enigmatic land of Tibet, often referred to as the roof of the world, is a land steeped in mystery, cultural richness, and breathtaking natural beauty. Nestled in the heart of Central Asia, this vast plateau encompasses staggering mountain ranges, including the majestic Himalayas, and harbors the source of some of the Asia's mightiest rivers like the Yangtze and Mekong. A dry and cold land that is often associated with the Himalayas and the world's tallest peak, Everest. Make no mistake, this video is not about mountaineering and winter sports. These harsh weather conditions are home to one of the largest and most fascinating dog breeds in the world, the Tibetan Mastiff. About 7,000 miles away, in Europe and the country of Germany, there is another magnificent breed that we are going to compare with this breed. You got it all wrong. It's not the German Shepherd and Doberman Pinscher. This breed is a lesser known breed than these two breeds. Aha, uh -huh, you guessed it right. The Magnificent Leonberger, the European Shepherd, is our opponent today against the Tibetan Mastiff. Reserve Independent Intelligent. These are the adjectives that the American Kennel Club uses to describe this truly extraordinary Tibetan dog. These adjectives are really befitting of the Tibetan Mastiff. In contrast, the Leonberger is a friendly, playful, and gentle breed. Two breeds that are very much underestimated and less popular than other large breeds. Now, apart from the reasons for this injustice, these two breeds have many similarities to compare with each other, and the most important event is undoubtedly the way they are used by humans. From their ancient Himalayan roots guarding homes, livestock, and villages against wolves and bears, the Tibetan massive size, strengths, and independent nature made them formidable deterrents. Modern times, however, see their professional roles limited by their independent streak. While responsible owners can utilize their guardian instincts for personal protection, their imposing presence and potential for aggression necessitate careful management in modern environments unlike their historical duties. But from companions pulling cards on modern day heroes, the Leonberger's history as a working and family dog shines through. Their gentle nature, trainability, and intelligence make them excel in diverse roles, from guarding property in the past to the search and rescue. Therapy works and card pulling today, providing their adaptability and enduring bone with humans. The American Knuckle Club paints a picture of the Leonberger's history, highlighting its unique companion first status within the working group. Developed in the mid 19th century in the German town of Leonberg, likely through a cross of St. Bernard, Newfoundland, and possibly Great Pyrenees, the breed aimed to resemble the town's alliance seal. Early 1846 saw the arrival of the first leader marking the breed's establishment, and it gained quick popularity, especially among European reality and the wealthy. Despite a decline in the early 20th century, a revival of fourth in the 1930s and dedicated families brought the breed more consistently to the US from the late 1970s. The Leonberger Club of America LCA, formed in 1975, but it wasn't until 2010, through the collaboration of a new club seeking AKC recognition and the exciting LCA, that the breed received official recognition as a part of the AKC working group solidifying its place in the American dog history and securing its future as a beloved companion. Tibetan Mastiffs are majestic guardians, bred for centuries in the harsh Tibetan climate and possess a strong protective instincts and are wary of strangers. Their intelligence is matched by a stubborn streak, 
requiring experienced owners who can provide consistent training and ample space for their large bodies. Despite their independence, they form deep bonds with their families and thrive on companionship. While not ideal for the first-time owners, these loyal giants can be wonderful companions for experienced individuals who can understand and appreciate their unique personality. Leonbergers are known for their loyalty, making them excellent companions for families. Their intelligence allows for training, but their playful nature may require patience. Despite their gentleness, they have impressive strengths and can excel in various working roles. Their large size requires ample space and regular grooming, making them ideal for active families with enough rooms. What's the main difference in personality between these two breeds? Though both massive and loyal, Tibetan massives are independent and require experienced owners due to their aloofness with strangers. In contrast, Leonbergers are known for their friendly, eager-to-please personalities, making them ideal family companions. A guard dog needs a large and powerful body, strong jaws, and a unique fighting ability. While both Leonbergers and Tibetan Mastiffs are undeniably large breeds, the AKC breed standards reveal some key differences in size. Leonbergers stand slightly taller, ranging from 27.5 to 31.5 inches at the shoulder, compared to the Tibetan Mastiffs 24 to 28 inches. Weight-wise, Leonbergers again tip the scales, with males reaching 170 pounds, compared to the Tibetan Massives 150 pounds, though females in both breeds are noticeably lighter. A dog's jaw strength is both a danger in dog human encounters and an essential quality for a guard or fighting dog. The estimated bite force of Leonberger ranges from 300 to 500 psi, similar to German Shepherds and Rottweilers. Tibetan Mastiffs, on the other hand, have a bite force between 500 and 700 psi, comparable to Kangal Shepherds and American Bulldogs. It's crucial to remember that these are just estimates and various factors can significantly influence the actual bite force. Moreover, focusing solely on the bite force is not an accurate indicator of duck's temperament or suitability as pets. These two magnificent breeds are not among the world's most famous and well-known breeds. One of the goals of this channel is to introduce breeds that are less popular and well-known around the world. According to the latest American Kennel Club rankings, the Leonberger enjoys a higher spot at 114, compared to the Tibetan Mastiff's 137th possession, indicating the Leonberger to be the more popular breed among the two. Magnificence, glory, and beauty combine with the power, loyalty, and selflessness. These are the words that can be used to describe these two breeds. We humans have gotten used to living with dogs throughout these three. Dogs have always come to the aid of our ancestors in hunting and guarding. Today, this task may have diminished, but we still need the companionship of these valuable creatures. Guys, we need your support. Comment below and support us with your likes and subscriptions. Bye-bye.